I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Friday morning, the 6th of October, 2023. And this is your friend, Angus Buchan, with a thought for the day. We start off in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1 and verse 18. For in much wisdom is much grief, and he who increases knowledge increases sorrow. And then we go straight to the last chapter, chapter 12, and I'm reading from verse 12. And further, my son, be admonished by these. Of making many books, there is no end, and much study is wearisome to the flesh. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is man's all. Now, these statements were written under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit by the wisest man who ever lived. He was no fool. I'm talking about Solomon, the wisest man who ever lived next to Jesus Christ, of course. Basically, I believe the Lord is telling you and I today to keep it simple. You know the old adage, if you don't strike oil in five minutes, stop boring. <laughs> and the word there for all of us preachers, get to the point. You've got five minutes to capture the, the crowd, and if not, you're going to lose them all. I want to say to you, it is very important that we meet people where they are at. All of us. Keep it simple. You know, like the story I heard about an intellectual who was giving a talk on agriculture in the field to a group of ordinary practical farmers. And he was getting very involved with everything. And there was a tractor park behind him for his demonstration. But this man who had so many degrees, it was unbelievable, couldn't start the tractor. Why? Because he didn't know that you have to put the tractor in neutral before the engine will start as a safety device. <laughs> he felt very embarrassed when one of those ordinary farm workers had to say, Sir, please put the tractor into neutral, then you can start the engine. Don't become too clever. Let's meet people where they are at, and we'll have a lot more success. One of the saddest cartoons I saw drawn was a picture of a big, stout minister with a big black Bible preaching down to a little boy who also had a big tummy, but it was not because he had too much food. It was because he was starving and he had a begging bowl in front of him and the caption underneath read, will there be food in heaven? We really need to put our learning into practice. God bless you. Have a good day and go and bless somebody with the simple news that Jesus is coming back soon. Goodbye.